No, no, I'm telling you, Brandon, my heart was pounding. I broke out into a cold sweat. My eyes were Steve, twitching. Steve, relax. It's only a dream. Yeah, but it was so real. Could you imagine being a junior again? Oh, we're not. We made it. We're gonna be seniors. Seniors. I like the way that sounds. Seniors. Me too. But first, two months of glorious, uninterrupted freedom. Yeah, but what are we gonna do all summer? <laughs> what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna be at the beach. We're gonna be picking up chicks. Yeah. Hot, beautiful, babelicious, sexy, half-naked, lonely chicks. With tan lines. Ah, hot fun. In the summertime. Thanks, guys. You're lifesavers. You can't keep doing this the whole summer, you know. I mean, you should have heard your parents. They're really worried about you. Yeah, your dad even went for his credit card. He never does that. Mm. Well, why do you suggest that I join a convent? <laughs> oh, there's Dylan. Oh. All right, how do I look? Like a lying, sneaking, conniving. Thanks, Kelly. I'll be eternally grateful. All right, bye. 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 Good. <laughs> And you were one to talk. You have been sneaking around with Jay for weeks. And I had to cover for both of you. That must be nuts. <laughs> well, you'll be off the hook soon enough. Brenda's going to have to figure something else out while we're in Europe. Brenda, be back here at 6 sharp. I will. Personally, I cannot wait to get on that plane to Paris. Get away from Brenda and Dylan and Mel and Jackie and the baby. What about Jake? Maybe absence will make his heart grow fonder. Listen, Kelly, I was I was thinking I'm not so sure I want to go. What? Donna, you were the one who convinced me to go in the first place. Well, I was thinking that maybe if I stuck around, my parents would stay together. You know, Don, if their marriage is falling apart, it's going to happen with or without you. You really think so? Believe me, the further you are from the war zone, the better. Okay. There you go, Brandon. Your final paycheck. Thanks, Nat. And uh, thanks for letting me up easy this year. Just as well. I would have had to cut back your hours for the summer anyway. Just don't let me catch anybody using this till I get back, all right? Yeah, well, where am I ever going to find somebody who only wants to work two or three hours a day anyway? <laughs> you have yourself a good summer, huh? Thanks, buddy. Hey, Steve, you want to come back? I got to get changed. Yeah. Well, is it all there? What there is of it. How much? This is like for a day, right? No, Steve, a week. <laughs> That's pathetic. Give me that. This is it? This is pizza of mine. Steve. When they say die yuppie scum, you know who they're talking about, don't you? <laughs> Man, I can't believe how spoiled you are. Hey, I'm not spoiled. I'm privileged. <laughs> and besides, I can get a job if I really, really wanted to. Yeah, right. <laughs> Brandon, what's the big deal? I just don't need a job. Steve, it's OK. Just go ahead and live off your mother for the rest of your life. Now, you leave my mother out of this. All right, sweetheart, then why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I will bet you this paycheck in its entirety that you cannot get and keep a job for one week. You! <laughs> Come on. This is a joke, right? No, I'm not kidding. I'm applying for the job. It only works a few days a week. Great. Well, when can you start? I don't know. How about a week from Monday? How about, like, tonight? <laughs> 